Um, no, now I just feel like you're really close to my face. I like heard like this, like a normal conversation. You don't you don't sit like that, do you? That's weird, isn't it? Hello, I've been AWOL for ages. I'm sorry. Yeah, obviously uni's been like really really stressful, and now it's not going to be really really stressful because it has been cancelled, which is just the maddest thing to say. On Tuesday, we received information that the university was to suspend all face-to-face -face teaching immediately, um, which was just in the nick of time because it meant I didn't have to drive um, quite far away to one of the trusts where I had some bedside teaching organised. So that was <laughs> that was convenient, I guess. But um, the initial, obviously, like, yay, no uni, lasted about a day and then we were all like oh my god what is happening and i think the problem with this the whole situation is like i'm really not saying this very well so as you guys obviously all know because you're probably watching this quarantined in your houses um the coronavirus situation has just got massively out of control and the only way we can sort of make an impact and try and control it is obviously by staying indoors and not going out so this was before the government actually gave any advice on anything um but on tuesday at my university decided to suspend all face-to-face -face teaching and so that meant effectively we had no more medical school for the foreseeable future i think initially the plan was just to finish off the block like this so we have our learning separated out into blocks and then I think a day later or so, or maybe the day after that, they released information that we would not be returning for block five. So the final block of our first year of medical school is due to be completed online. Um, and now they are closing the library and all the study, study spaces that we have. So obviously, you know, we need to stay at home and we need to study at home. Um, I think for the time being, our OSCEs have been cancelled and our OSCEs are like the hands-on examinations that we do. Um, our written examinations will go ahead, but what they've said is that they'll give us six weeks notice. So not sure when they're, when they're going to happen. They might happen in June and they might happen in September. No one knows. It's obviously all down to what happens with the crisis at the moment. So yeah, it's been really... Yeah, a really uncertain time. It's such a shame to end the year like this, not getting to sort of say bye to everyone, like all the really good friends that we've made throughout the year. And then at the same time, you just you do just remember like, wow, this is just completely, like in the grand scheme of things, some first year medics are just like, you've got to think of like the bigger picture. Unfortunately, people are dying. People are being made bankrupt. People are losing their jobs because of this and like honestly my heart goes out to everyone that's been like so severely affected because it's awful um in my previous life i used to so before i got to university i worked full-time in leisure like in a leisure center i was just i was an assistant manager at like a leisure center and i also taught like swimming and things like that so like my whole life was in leisure and it's one of the industries obviously now with the closure of like gyms and leisure centers it's one of the industries that's been really 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 badly affected like a lot of my friends are personal trainers who now can't get their extra income from personal training. So obviously the government have said that they will pay, um, I think 80% of your salary, which is fine because you get paid like a base amount for being in the gym, but you get an extra rate for actually personal training someone. Um, and a lot of people rely on that money to like eat and feed their families. And the government's obviously not going to be paying that extra. Their employer obviously isn't going to be paying that extra. And now they've somehow got to make up the shortfall. So it's a really, really, really crap situation. And likewise, I know, like, for example, a lot of lifeguards, because I myself am a lifeguard, like, I know a lot of lifeguards on, like, zero-hour contracts that aren't going to be getting any income. Um, and that sucks as well. And there's a lot of people that have been, like, affected by this that are, you know, have got some tough times ahead, which really sucks. Um, sorry, my face is really itchy. Uh, okay, so how long is this so far? This I feel like this is a really long one. Eight minutes of me just rambling. Um, so as far as, you know, where we go from here, um, I'm going to split my time between Coventry and Brighton. Um, obviously, we've now got 
this house up in Corf that <laughs> we don't need anymore because the course has been suspended. So, but however, I, I do feel like when I'm up here, my mind is, my mindset is much more geared towards studying and learning. So even if I, I'm, you know, going to have to study in the house because there's not going to be a library or whatever available, that's fine, we can do that. Um, so I'm gonna go home for the Easter holidays as planned as, as I was going to do, um, and then come back up after they're done and study here and just see how it goes. It's such a strange situation. It's such like an unprecedented, oh my God, I can't speak English. Such an unprecedented situation that obviously we've all found ourselves in. Um, yeah, I definitely have no idea what the next few months are gonna hold, how it's gonna be. It's all very weird. Uh, obviously campus is shutting down. I've got like my last trip to the library to get some books and to do like a little bit of extra work um, before the library closes now. And then I will head home. Um, what else have I done? So to prepare for the whole <coughs> coronavirus thing, I've ordered some weights online. They're coming on Wednesday because obviously there's no gym. So I can at least do some home workouts and I'll be testing out some, you know, home workouts that I find on YouTube. So I don't, I've never, I don't, yeah, home, like working out at home is not something that I do. So it'll be good to practice some of those. I'll look online, get some inspiration and we can sort of review them and go through them together. But yeah, it's weird times. Comment below if you're at uni or you're at med school as well and um, have also been affected by COVID-19. Yes, yeah, so that's all for the video. Bye, stay safe.